Let's take a look at that again in slow motion. I'll go right here. See how Chris. That wasn't a real slap, y'all. He has standing his fingers. See y'all, Chris Rock learned the lesson that night. Look man, when somebody's coming towards you in a confrontational way, and let this be a lesson to anybody, uh, any person, when somebody's coming towards you in a confrontational way, Never have your arm, hand, arms behind your back, first of all. And don't put your face out there to get hit. <laughs> Chris Rock puts his face, leans his face in with his arms behind his back like he wanted to get hit. Look, just look at this shit. Look, you see how he just leans forward towards Will Smith with his arms behind his back? Dude, you got to be on point. But see, this guy, but this is him feeling invincible, feeling Will's not going to do. You got to be stupid. He he felt like Will wasn't going to hit him. He felt like Will was no threat whatsoever. <laughs> Look, man, any man is a threat, bro. You talking about his wife. He gets up. And this is the illusion of security. He was wrapped in the illusion of security. And he got a wake up call. He got a real wake up. You see how he balls his fists up? That's a defensive. That's a straight um, self defensive tactic. That's a straight, you know, a natural reflex to defend yourself. Oh, wow. See how he... Wow. And Will Smith, goofy. He slaps goofy. Will Smith looked like he never been in a fight in his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> he slapped... You see the knife hand? He used the knife hand. He didn't hit him with the full hand might have hit him with the fingers I don't think he meant to really slap Chris Rock you know maybe you know I think he meant to make contact but he didn't really meant to mean to hurt him he didn't really want to hurt him see see how he how he extend his his hand that's not a slap you really want to. I'm pretty sure Chris still felt it though. Because it was so fast. Oh, wow. Wow. And he walks away looking goofy. <laughs> and then he yells. Keep my wife name. Like he's scaring somebody. I mean that's an acting job man. All that yelling. Keep my wife not man. That 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 was an acting job, but he did land. He did make contact with his face, so it was acting and real at the same time.
come on. Y'all think Will Smith was really mad. I don't think he was really mad. I'm doing this video. I'm doing another video. I did a previous video on Will, but I'm doing a second video now. Because Will Smith came out and uh, made an apology for this incident. And uh, where he says right here. Violence. Hold on. But let me get back to Chris Rock. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chris Rock learned the lesson if he never learned. Both of these guys are 50 some years old. Hey, <laughs> Chris Rock is learning a lesson late in life, man. Never let no one approach you close enough to hit you if you can help it. If they come in for a confrontation. Somebody's coming for a confrontation. Have your guard up. Just like in boxing. What they say. Protect yourself at all times. Chris Rock had his hands behind his back. With his face leaning forward. I mean that was the perfect setup. To get slapped. I mean that's just. The, I mean the face was just perfect. He just put his face all out there. Here. Here. Basically screaming, face was screaming to Will, slap me, Will, slap me. I mean, you're leaning in with your face, this big 6'2 guy coming towards you in a confrontational manner with your arms behind your back, man. Let that be a lesson to all of y'all. Never let someone approach you with your arms behind your back. What Chris should have did is is when Will Smith was coming towards him put his arm out and stand his arm out and get on the back foot and be like hold up Will don't 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 come in the and then Will Smith probably would have slapped his hand back that's when you know okay this shit's real that's when you just scoop his ass up all, had, all Chris Rock had to do was scoop his ass up Pick him up by the legs, body slam his ass like Charles Barkley did Shaq. <laughs> but don't, man, put your arms behind your back, dude. But see, Chris Rock, it caught everybody off guard. I can't blame Chris for being caught off guard. Chris did not expect this in a billion years. But like I said, this is a lesson learned. Y'all, don't let, don't let, don't let people with aggression approach you close enough to hit you keep them motherfuckers at a distance if you can and if they invade if they come if they come close enough to hit you strike first don't let nobody approach you like man I, I, uh -uh. I don't play that shit I don't play that don't come up in my personal space it's on it's on whether we arguing or whatever you better argue from a distance. You better argue over there. 30 feet away from me. Don't approach me because I'm going to take it as a threat. And that's how Chris Rock should have took it as a threat. The man, but he thought Will Smith was coming up there to give him a hug. <laughs> Will Smith shocked a lot of people. But uh, then he got up and did that act. Then he got sat down and did that acting job. Um, just over exaggerating. Keep my wife, man. That's that. If you look at him doing that, he looks so fake. He looks so fake doing that. But he's trying to impress this woman. You know, my thing, my uh, my take on that is Jada Pinkett has emasculated Will Smith so bad that he felt he had to do this. She compared this man. She, I mean, she, 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 she puts Tupac on a pedestal. Tupac, the, the straight up G, the gangster, the quintessential thug, you know, the bad boy everybody loves, the hero, folk lord hero, you know what I'm saying? So, and she emasculates Will. I'm pretty sure she. Has emasculated Will. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure of it. 
and Will, because Will was chuckling at first, but it could it could have been a fake chuckle, whatever. But he saw Jada's face, and he knew he was going to have to hear hear the shit. You know, so I, I my opinion, I think she 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 emasculated him to the point where the the guy is just like have got mental issues. You know, I, I, I'm not trying to judge Will, but I'm just saying I think the dude has mental issues because his wife just emasculated, just emasculated him to the point where he got to prove his manhood again. He got to prove he a man again. You know, she comparing him up there with Tupac. So, and you know, Will Smith get, gets the rap of being corny. Being a nice guy, being corny, being a pushover, everybody think they can, you know, they think he's soft. You know, known as the soft rapper, just because he didn't choose to curse. And he didn't make gang-banging rap songs. So he, he's known as, as soft in his toxic masculinity culture. That's what they call it, right? Toxic masculinity. Well, in the, in the 90s, it was very toxic masculinity. And Will, in the 80s and 90s, and Will Smith stood out, did his own. I respect Will Smith for that. Not going the route, not going on that gangster route. Sticking to what he do best with his show, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Bel -Air, with his raps, you know, with his rap career. Hey, man, I, I, I like Will Smith music. When he was popping. You know but. The man is damaged. The man is very damaged. You know. Like I showed y'all the video. Previous, the previous video. He's talking about. He wished his wife looked at him like. She looked at Tupac. You know. Wish, wish he was more like Tupac. You know I don't think he wish he was more like Tupac. I think he wished. His wife saw him like she sees Tupac, you know. And and Tupac really wasn't no gangster, dude. Like, I don't know what he think Tupac was, but Jada would tell him. Jada should tell him that. Like, when Tupac was going to the Baltimore School of Arts, Tupac wasn't no thug. Tupac wasn't no gangster. Tupac was just a a, a nice, poetic type of poetic type dude, poetry type dude, a actor, a rapper, a very talented dude, regular guy. He wasn't no straight up hard thug, you know. He he uh he was also a, a very intelligent guy, very intelligent young man with his uh a history of the Black Panther in his blood coming from his mother. You know, he, you know, so Jada and, and Tupac, they just bonded, man, at a very young age. And I don't know what Will Smith's idea of who Tupac was, but it wasn't it wasn't no damn uh, Alpha, Alpha Supreme thug that he make he make it out he make it out to be. You know, Jada didn't love Tupac because he was some. Alpha Supreme Thug or some top notch gangster you know or some Billy the Kid cowboy so that ain't why she loved Tupac so I don't know what Will Smith idea of Tupac is but it ain't no but Will, Jada like I said she ain't looking at Tupac as no, no um, apex predator thug. That ain't what attracted her to Tupac. That ain't what her bond is with Tupac. You know, she don't know the thug side of Tupac. She know the dude that she went to school with, grew up with in high school. Nice, sweet dude that was a talented rapper. A talented, was trying to be an actor, a talented rapper, a talented actor, uh, funny guy, cool, 
influential even in high school he was inf he was uh influential had people copying him you know it wasn't no thug side of him back then that shit came out later when he was in, in his rap career so uh, like I said before I don't know what Will Smith's idea of of who Tupac is who we think Tupac is you know but he said he wished he was like Tupac you know well well man I'm pretty sure Tupac wish you know he had you know he was a uh, he had a he had some of what you had he had some of what Will Smith had I'm pretty sure Tupac wish you know and my well I ain't gonna say he wish he was had some of what Will Smith had but I'm pretty sure Tupac admired what, what, what Will Smith did in his career. You know, being a successful actor. So, Will Smith, you ain't got nothing to be jealous of Tupac about. You shouldn't have to feel insecure about your wife and Tupac's bond. Come on, man. They bonded at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't bond the same way. You know, you 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 and Jada, Will and Jada met at a older age. You know, they were more seasoned when they met. You know, they were hardened when they met. Tupac and Jada was still growing. The mold was still shaping. Was still shaping when they met. You know. Young teenagers were 14, 15 years old when they met. So, him being jealous of Tupac is just ridiculous. I mean, Jada might throw that in his face. But Will Smith has his own insecurities. And he's projecting that on Jada. You know, he just has his own insecurities within himself. About how he's looked at. And, and probably in the hip hop community. And he feels probably Tupac is looked as more respected. You know what I'm saying? And it's more looked at as a man's man, you know. And I think that's probably what what that's coming from. His own insecurities. He probably never really um was satisfied with his hip hop career. He probably, you know, he probably, um, he's probably really never satisfied with the, the admiration or the respect that he gets from hip hop. He may feels like he may feel like he's uh, disrespected by hip hop. You know, disrespected by his peers, or not as respected by his peers as he as he would like to be. In hip hop, you know, he may feel inadequate as a hip hop artist. You know, he may be wanted to be more, but he was an actor and rapper, same way with Pac. But Pac died at a very young age. And Pac had a ve a deep message, and you know, when he spoke. And Pac came from a different background, you know. So he don't need to be jealous of Pac, man. You know, he should be, you know, just thankful that of he should be thankful of the gifts that he has that God has bestowed on him. You know, Will Smith has a lot to learn about life still he's 50 something years old and he's around here acting like he's in junior high school again with his insecurities and uh, feeling he has to go out here and be a tough guy so he can feel like a man in front of his wife so he got to play the tough guy role, you know. Him up there shouting, it, it just looked so. Uh, it, it looked. 
It looked like it was fake. It looked phony to me. It looked like it was fake outrage. That's what it looked like. It looked like a bad acting. It looked like a bad acting job. And it was. And he was he was acting. I don't care what he say. That wasn't no real outrage. That wasn't no real rage. Just because you talking loud don't mean you really angry. You know, he just spoke loud to probably try to scare the white folks in the audience. When a black man talk loud, you know, people get scared. People get quiet. And I, and I, and I felt that's what, that's what he was doing. He said it again. Keep my word, man. Uh, this time, let me say it real loud to, to, to fool people into thinking that I'm really angry. And it worked because everybody got quiet. And that's what he wanted. <laughs> Acting his ass off. You know. But he did it all for Jada. Putting on the front for Jada. Trying to fool Jada. And, and to, and, and to uh, thinking that he was really uh, angry for her. Or sticking up for her. You know. Trying to make her feel better. I'm going to go out here and act like I'm mad. So she won't get on my ass when we get home. You know. <laughs> because the woman has emasculated him so bad he feels like this is what he has to do I truly do believe uh, and, and and also his own insecurities also like I said his own insecurities are feeling like he don't level level up to Tupac a level up to to the man that she wants him to be so he feels, so he did that to get her approval, you know. It's all, you know what I'm saying, it's like, let me, let me show her that I'm a man too. Let me show her that I can be just as, um, that I, that, that I, that I can be just as, uh, thuggish as Tupac. Or, or, you know, I can be just as bizarre or whatever he was trying to prove. He was trying to prove it to her, you know, and that, that really was uncalled for. Like, you can talk all the shit you want, but you ain't got to put your hands on me, man. It wasn't that deep. He ain't had to come up there and put his hands on him. I don't agree with that now. He jumped on stage. Like, that's how you know that the dude, this dude lost his mind, man. We we at the Oscars, man. This dude jumped on stage live at the Oscars. Like, there, was, like there wasn't going to be any repercussions. That's why I thought it was fake because clearly you lost your mind for like 20 seconds jumping on that stage slapping that man on live TV. You you lost your motherfucking mind, and Jada didn't want that. So you think you you doing it for Jada, but you you still fucked up because Jada did not want that. And when you, and when they got home, she probably made him apologize to Chris. And Jada was cringing afterwards. I could see it on her face; she was cringing, like. Like she was thinking, like, "Oh my God, what I'm gonna do with this guy? This guy out of his fucking mind." I, I, I can hear the conversation now. Will you think I wanted you to do that? Will Smith, like, well, what? God damn it! Damned if I do, damned if I don't. I didn't want you to do that. You fucking up the whole night by doing that. You taking away from other actresses and actors. You taking away from yourself. For that stupid thing that you did. that What they call it toxic masculinity. Because you think that's I approve of that. Come on Will. You know. I can see Jada having that conversation with him. Jada, I oh, don't. Jada did not want him to do that. 
I know she did not. I know she didn't want him to do that. So Will 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 Smith just got a goddamn problem, man. I mean, he could if he felt a certain way. I can understand him yelling about keep 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 his wife's name out your mouth if he was really upset. But he took it to a criminal level by going on that stage. And then there was no repercussions behind it. He's supposed to went he's supposed to got arrested. He's supposed to got kicked out of that award show. I don't know what type of security they got, but they 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 suck ass, man. Everybody in there um dumbfounded. He gets up and then starts Talking and crying like he the victim. Dude's out of his fucking mind. Dude got mental issues. Let's keep it real, man. He got mental. I said I didn't want to judge him, man, but I got to call it how it is, man. He's seen. He, he's showing that he's showing he has e emotional stability issues. That's what he's showing. For you to go up on fucking stage. And at the Oscars, something that's very important to him in his career to win an Oscar. That's something Will Smith's been striving for ever since he ever since he's become an actor. He, he you know, he ch he's chasing that Oscar. I think this is his second Oscar. Come on, man! You don't go up there and 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 ruin, assault someone. And ruin your fucking moment because you have an a, an emotional outburst. The dude can't control the dude. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You don't do no shit like that. The dude is. I I don't. You know. He clearly wasn't. I don't know if he was thinking or wasn't thinking. But he, he, he clearly felt like, I guess he was invincible. And ain't nobody going, and, and, and I'm touchable. And ain't nobody going to do nothing to me. I'm Will Smith. I can do what the fuck I want to do and go back and go back and sit down. And who going to tell me to get up and get, get out? Who going who gonna to say something? Who going to put me out? That's the type of attitude he displayed. And nobody dared touch him. They all kissed his ass. He owned the fucking... Like he owned everybody in that room. And everybody kissed his ass and applauded him. And it was just sick. That was... It was like everybody was... Enabling bullying. <laughs> What, it's like everybody was applauding bullying. You know? And Jada, really, Jada could have laughed at that shit. Come on. We take ourselves so serious now. She can't laugh. She can't laugh. It, it wasn't, it, the joke was not that bad. The joke wasn't cruel. But Jada can't laugh at herself. That's why. That's what's wrong with people. That's why people have all these uh, health problems. Because they're taking life too seriously, and they don't have no joy in their life, and they don't, and they can't laugh. You know. And Will Smith, uh, he laughs one minute, and then. Slap somebody the next minute, like he, he his emotions are all unstable. But now he wants to apologize. Like if I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would accept this apology if I was Chris Rock. Cause Will Smith is a hypocrite. 
Like, man, you 50 some years old. If you don't get it now, you ain't going to never get it. That's why I said the dude must got a very uh, unstable mental problems. He must have some mental problem problems because, come on, dude. You, you, now he's talking about violence and all of its forms is poisonous. Man, you should have knew that before you even went up on stage. <laughs> Hypocrite. People are crazy. You know, people out of their minds. You know, it, there's a place, there's a time and a place for everything, y'all. And now he wants to apologize. And like I said, if I was Chris Rock, I don't know if I would even pay this shit any attention. Violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job. But a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. He didn't joke about her medical condition. He said she, you know she she could be in G. I. Jane. You know, he didn't joke about and I hear he didn't he didn't even know about her medical condition. I would like to public publicly Apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. Man, get the hell out of here. I would also like to apologize to the Academy the producers of the show, all the attendees, and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply re regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise go gorgeous journey for all of us. I, I am a work in progress. Yeah, brother. You just set yourself back 30 years. Will Smith, you just set your best self back 30 years, bro. That, that's why I'm saying the guy, this is a, I don't know, I don't know, this dude, I don't know if he needs some medication. But this is, I think this stems from the pressure of trying to make his wife happy. He don't know how to make her happy. I, I, think, he, I think he's been emasculated by her. Um, you know, as being someone that's a clown. That 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 is that 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 well, that being someone that people, some people see as a clown, not taken seriously. Um, maybe he feel he ain't hood enough or something. I don't, I I don't I don't know his whole deal. You know, but Will Smith just got to love himself. He just got to be himself and love himself and fuck what anybody else think. If you don't love me for me, get the fuck on. You know, you can't be Tupac, man. You got to be Will Smith, whether you goofy, a nerdy, whatever you are, you got to love who you are. Whether you did whether you didn't cuss, cuss in your raps, whether you made good, clean music, good. You got to own that and love that. People like you are original. They make the world go round. Pock is pock. Let will be will. If that ain't good enough for your woman, she don't deserve you. You know, and I don't think it's that. I I don't think, I don't think she wants Will to be some thugged out, you know, fool. I don't, you know, I don't think she wanted Will to be that. Some thugged out G gangster, all that stupid shit. 
Like I said, her and Park had a bond when they was teenagers. It ain't got nothing to do with being no thug. Park was just somebody that they, they just connected, man. You know, you just don't have that same connection they had. Okay, It's okay, dude. You can't be Tupac. Tupac can't be you. You know? But she didn't marry Tupac. She married you. And she said she wasn't romantically involved with Tupac. So I don't know what the jealousy is about. You think you can be friend, a friend like Pac could be? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You jealous of the friendship they had? Come on, bro. Get over it. Pac is Pac. You are you. You got y'all got different personalities. You know what she can connect with Pac with? She probably Pac just can't connect with you with. You know. You know you 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 can't copy chemistry. You know her and Pac had a chemistry that that can't be duplicated. You got to get over that. Let that be, man. But like I said, he, I, I'm pretty sure he's been f emasculated or feeling like she's emasculated him. And he had to get up there and look stupid and do that stupid shit to show her that, you know, I got your back. Look, I'm going to do this for you. I got your back, baby. The dumbest shit he could have did. You don't assault, man. Come on, man. Chris Rock was no threat. And Will, like I said, Will Smith should, to be honest, Will Smith should have got locked up for that shit. Should have went to jail for that shit. And now I believe he going to have people coming at, Will going to have people coming at him, challenging him now for that. You know, he, he's going to, he might have to beef up his security. Because now a lot of people don't appreciate that. You know, the bigger guy picking on the smaller, beating up the smaller guy. People are going to see that as bullying. Now it's going to be bigger guys maybe trying to challenge Will. Fight me, huh? Do me like that. I bet you won't do me like that. You know, he, he's going to attract that type of energy now. Do me like you did Chris Rock. You know, he might attract that type of energy. You know. A lot of people don't appreciate it. A lot of people felt what he did was uncalled for. You know what I'm saying? We we all know Chris tell jokes. We all know this. And he didn't give Chris the benefit of the doubt of maybe Chris didn't know. About, you know, her her disease. But I uh I wouldn't I, I I wouldn't accept this apology if I was Chris, man. You know, I wouldn't accept it. I don't know. But, but that's just me. Um, but like I said, Chris Rock got a, Chris Rock learned the lesson that night. Don't don't let nobody run up on you, man. <laughs> don't let nobody don't keep your hands behind your back. And don't put your face, don't lean your face forward. <laughs> he thought he was safe. He thought he was safe in old Hollywood. <laughs> Rock thought he was safe in Hollywood, boy. He said, them high school days are getting bullied over with. I'm safe. Wrong. Pop. And, you know... The only way I think this can be made up is, is if Will agrees to let Chris Rock slap him back live on TV or on some type of, you know, some type of award show where Chris can slap Will Smith back, get payback in front of the world. Then they'll be even. You know what I'm saying? I feel that's probably the only way Chris will be able to probably let it go. I mean, at least they'll be even. 
Because he smacked the man in front of the world, bro. You know, people kill them, kill themselves for stuff like this. Kids have killed themselves from being filmed getting assaulted like this. They call it bullying. Many kids have killed themselves over stuff like this, man. So, you got to be a strong person. Chris will have to be, be very strong, you know, to to keep moving and, and to brush this shit off. I mean, the man got slapped. The kids saw it. Everybody saw it. Wife saw it. So now Chris Rock is emasculated. Feeling like Will Smith. Emasculation. So. Like I said man. I think to make this type. This make this stuff even. To make it even. It may be. It, it may have to be a thing where Will Smith just lets. Chris Rocks. If he really mean. If he's really apologetic. If he if he's really sincere about his apology. He will let Chris Rock slap him back. You know, cause man, cause look, you just don't do that to a man. You you don't do that. You don't do that to a man on TV or off TV. You, you don't do that, man. I mean, people will kill you for shit like this. People have killed people for this type of violence. You know, for this type of assault. You can die. For, you can get shot, stabbed, or whatever for doing shit like that. What Will Smith did, man. Like, this ain't cool, man. You know, so, you know, Will Smith attracting that, that dark energy his way with stuff like this. You know, Chris, Chris Rock may have some goons. They're ready to put in work now. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like this can escalate, man. So. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see this being over, man. I, I feel like Chris Rock gonna come back with something, you know. But at least Will Smith apologized, you know. At least he did that. But I think the man, I think the man got mental issues. I really do. It's sad. Um. But like I said, I don't think Jada wanted him to do that. Jada didn't know he was gonna do that. You know, I think he took it. Will just took it too far, going up on stage doing that shit. He embarrassed. He thought he was protecting Jada, but he kind of really embarrassed her more by doing that dumb shit. So you can't win. Will Smith probably feel well. I can't win. Yeah, idiot. You don't know how to control your emotions. You don't know what's appropriate. That wasn't appropriate. You know. So yeah. He embarrassed Jada. I mean. Come on dude. You trying to kill a fly. With a sledgehammer. You, you, you just made it worse. You just made the shit worse. You just damaged the house. You thought you was defending her honor, but you just embarrassed her more. That ain't cool. She ain't patting you on the head for doing no dumb shit like that. She ain't saying, good, good job, Will. She ain't saying that shit. I don't believe she's saying it. I don't believe it. I don't believe she's saying it. That's it. I know this has been a long video, man. Peace.